Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to check the new Bluetooth USB adapter from SpeedyB. The Bluetooth USB adapter is the third Bluetooth device from SpeedyB. First, they released this Bluetooth UART adapter that required you to connect it to a free UART port and then it enabled you to configure a flight controller using the SpeedyB app. After that, they released the SpeedyB flight controller, which has this chip already built in. And on my review, I also announced a giveaway and in the end of this video, I'm going to announce the winner. Inside this small box, we're getting the USB adapter, a bag with an XT60 female connector and also a heat shrink, and we're also getting the user manual. This USB adapter is pretty compact. It weighs about 3.71 grams. On one end, we can find a male micro USB connector, and on the other, two pads for the battery. The support voltage is between 9 to 26 volts, which means you can use it with batteries between 3 to 6 cells. In addition, on this board, we can find three LED indicators. The left one is red and it's going to indicate that the board is powered on. The second one is blue and when it's going to be constantly on, it means that you connected it successfully to the flight controller. And finally, the right one is green and when it's going to be constantly on, it means that you connected it successfully to the app. So now I'm going to solder the female X60 connector and then I'm going to put on the heat shrink and I highly recommend to use it as well because it's going to protect the board. And after that, I'm going to show you how it works. So now I'm going to show you how to use this USB adapter. You can see that on this board, we have the Bluetooth chip built in. This is the exact circuit. So what you're going to need to do is to connect the micro USB port to the flight controller, then connect it to the battery. Again, it's supposed between three to six cells. After connecting it, you're going to see it's going to power on this board and also the flight controller. Then you have to open the SpeedyB app. If you don't have the app installed, just go to the App Store or Google Play, download and install it. Open it up, make sure that the Bluetooth on your phone is on. Then you can choose if you want to use Bluetooth or USB. Let's choose Bluetooth. It's going to scan for the available devices. Choose the SBB UA. And as you can see, now you can configure the flight controller using the SpeedyB app. You can see that everything is working. And of course, as you may say, you can use the OSD for configuration of the flight controller, but you can't do everything for the OSD. For example, the CLI function is not working on the OSD. And another thing that you won't be able to configure on your OSD is the OSD setup. So if you have some problems or you want to choose where to place the items, it's very easy on the SpeedyB app. It's a drag and drop interface, so you can just move everything around. So for example, if you want to change the position of the voltage, you can just drag it around and position it where you may want. So this is one of the advantages of using this over the OSD because I think this setup is easier. So using this device is going to make your life easy. And if you've been using a computer, I think that after buying this device, you don't have to use a computer at all at least for the configuration of Betaflight, because all the settings are going to be available through the SpeedyB app. Now, of course, if you have an Android device, you can just use an OTG adapter, or even better, you can buy a micro USB to micro USB cable or a micro USB to USB-C, depending on the type of connector that you have. And after plugging it in to both ends, you can see that the flight controller powers up. And after pressing the USB icon, it's going to find this STM32 serial driver. You can just press it and then you'll be able to configure the flight controller just like using this adapter. So overall, I think that if you have an Android device, this adapter is a nice thing to have. But if you have an Apple device, this adapter is a great thing to have because Apple devices just doesn't support OTG, at least at the moment of publishing this video. So having this adapter will enable you to configure a flight controller on the field and will save the trouble of bringing a laptop or even buying a cheap Android device for configurations. So I think that $20 for this adapter is not that expensive for the purpose that it serves. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm going to announce now the winner of the SpeedyB flight controller. And the giveaway already took place on my Facebook page. Two days ago, I streamed it live, so everything will be transparent and you're going to see it's a fair giveaway. And the big winner is David Cameron. And the runner up is Yolo FPV. So please, both of you send me a message. If Dave is not going to show up in the next week or so, Yolo FPV is going to win it. And I would like to thank SpeedyB for sponsoring this giveaway. And it's going to be sent to you directly from SpeedyB. So just send me a message with your address and I will take care of it. By the way, I also asked SpeedyB if they can sponsor a giveaway for this Bluetooth USB adapter. And luckily they agreed. So one of you guys is going to win this little cool gadget. All you have to do if you want to participate is just to like this video and leave a comment in the comment section down below and you're going to be included in the giveaway. 
I'm going to hold a giveaway on one of my next videos in the end of this month as long as this video is going to get at least 100 comments and 1000 views so please share it with your friend as well I don't think it's going to be that hard to achieve this goal so please help me to make it happen and I hope to throw more giveaways in the future so your help is appreciated as always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this adapter, feel free to ask it down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.